On today's video, did you wonder where your crossovers, time correction, and some of your EQ settings are on your new ILX? No problem. We're going to show you where they're at, so stay tuned. Now, if you just bought your brand new ILX and you're like, oh, wait a minute, I thought it had a nine band parametric EQ. I thought it had crossovers and time correction and all these other cool things. Where are they? Yeah, I thought about that too. Well, they're all there. They're just hidden in an app that you need to download called TuneIt. It's from Alpine. And what it does is it gives you all those features on your phone. So you don't have to dig through menus. It puts them all in one nice little menu right on the face of your phone. And today, we're going to show you how to use it. So let's do it. Once downloaded, it's going to go ahead and give you a bunch of features that you haven't seen on your radio. Parametric EQ, time correction, crossovers. You have seen the media expander. You have seen balance and phaser. Subwoofer and base engine SQ. These top ones here are the ones that you don't actually get to see. We'll start with those. Parametric EQ. This allows you to set the parametric EQ. You can start with flat. You can pick bass. Mid and treble bands. In those bands, you can go ahead and pick which one you want. So, seven, eight. You can go over here and change the frequency if you like. You can increase the level. And then you can come over here and adjust the cue, which is going to be how boomy or dry you'd like it. This would be dry, that would be boomy. Although, to describe a tweeter frequency that were a Eh, probably not the best thing to do, but you get the idea. If you want to look at all individually, you can. You can move them individually when you're on the main page, if you'd like, or select flat. When you're done, go ahead and select save. You can come in and do time correction. In time correction, you can choose the individual time for each speaker. Simply tap the speaker, tap the distance, select OK. You can do it in inches or centimeters. Next, you have crossovers. Here, you can adjust your front, rear, or sub crossover. Pick the band you like and go ahead and choose your frequency. And then you can adjust your slope to 6 or 12 dB. Your media expander is also here, which is also in the EQ for the radio, balance and fader is here as well as in the radio. These are things you will find in the radio. Your subwoofer is also in there, but you have a quick volume control right here that you can use. And then your bass engine SQ. When you're done, go ahead and select save. All right, so the TuneIt app has just had a big update for these new radios. It looks a lot slicker and it's a lot cleaner and a lot easier to use. Another aspect of it is the social side. So if you have uh, car A and the guy over there has car A, if you've uploaded your car A tune to the internet through the app, then he can download that or you can download his and you can put it on your radio. So it's like a Facebook slash EQ social sharing site for tuners. Cool. Yeah, pretty neat. But that's where all those features are hidden. All right, Fernando, go ahead and bring it home. All right, so if you like this video, please subscribe, share, thumbs up. Uh, you guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Pretty much everywhere. Yeah. If you guys would like to ask us questions, tune in every Monday night on Facebook at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time for our Facebook Live show. And with that, you guys have a great night as usual, and we'll see you later next time. Bye.